Hi, I'm Andy Shaughnessy from Real Time with SMTA. Here with me this morning is Mitch Holzer of Alpha Assembly Solutions. How you doing, Mitch? Great, Andy. How are you today? Good. Good, Good. to see you again. Good to see you too. Well, I understand you have a new role and a new title at Alpha. Why don't you tell us about it? I, thank you. Yes, last year I was named the uh, director of our America's Reclaim business, which is kind of different than my other roles in marketing and R&D, but it's been very, very enjoyable, very challenging, and we're getting a lot of good things done. Right. So, you, tell us about this. What, what, what exactly does this entail? Well, we um, go out to our customers and try to solicit their dross and their solder paste scrap, primarily. Mm -hmm. We also buy a lot of uh, solder paste scrap and dross from brokers and dealers from all over North America. Okay. So, so then tell us about, you know, how does this, how does this even work? You know, I know a lot of people would like to know. <laughs> well, people have dross when they use wave soldering. The wave soldering causes the solder to oxidize that oxidized floats to the top of the solder and is skimmed off. It can't be reused, but it can be recycled through a process like ours. Right, right. So, so yeah, what, what do you, I'm curious, what kind of, what do you use to, to do this? Um, we have some proprietary processes. Mm -hmm. We have um, several different processes for different waste streams, depending on how oxidized the dross is, how metallic the dross is, and we even have processes to reclaim solder paste scrap and solder, empty solder jars still contain quite a bit of solder paste in them. We're able to recover almost 100% of that material in our process. That's cool. So when you look at reclamation overall, what are some of the trends you see? Well, the big one it paralyzed, is parallel with the um, assembly industry. There's a big decline in wave soldering every year, which means there's less solder dross from the process that I described before. Mm -hmm. But because there's more surface mount technology, there's a lot more solder paste scrap in the marketplace. Right. But the big issue is that they're two completely different processes mm -hmm. for reclaiming metal from dross as we're reclaiming metal from paste because paste obviously has a lot of organic chemicals in it. Usually right. they're plastic jars, um, but very little oxide. So it's two different processes. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty interesting. It's, uh, I know you guys, uh, you guys have a lot going on over there. So. Yeah. <laughs> what, one more thing you offer the customers, right? It's, it's, exactly. Yeah. And uh, you know, the best thing is when we find a customer who's maybe sending it to a hazardous waste um, carrier, sure. and then we know that that material is going into a landfill. We're actually able to help that customer uh, not pay to have the material taken away, but actually getting paid by us for recovering their metal. So it's a that's great good. deal all the way around. That's, that's a good deal. <laughs> all right. Well, good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, uh, Randy. Know, Thank uh, you very much. I know we'll be seeing you again soon. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, right. thanks. Again, I've been speaking with Mitch Holter. I'm Andy Shaughnessy for Real Time with SMTA. Thanks for watching.